your package could not be delivered. Someone else has access to your Google account. Please change your password. I would like to interview you. All fake and trying to trick journalists into opening a file, logging into a fake Google page, or sending back personal information. In the most extreme cases, journalists have lost their jobs because of phishing. Phishing attacks are basically very easy to do. The most common advice that you usually find with respect to phishing is to just not click on links that you receive in emails. But I don't think that's practical. So because everyone clicks on links, you can also learn a few tricks by yourself in order to detect the tricks that phishers use. In the most common trick, they claim that something is wrong with your account and you have to provide information to make it right. Other tricks include fueling your temptation and driving curiosity, such as an interview request, bill to an order you didn't place, or an invitation to an interesting document, all leading to that link or attachment. Uh, what this link usually would be is like a fake a uh, login page or a fake website that pretends to be like a Google or a Facebook login page and it tries to trick you into entering your username and password. Um, in other cases, it could be a website that deploys malware on your device and installs malware. In more elaborate attacks, the attackers go to great lengths to trick journalists and impersonate someone. These are called spear phishing. Defending against these attacks can be quite challenging. It's a very professional form of social engineering and there is no 100% bulletproof way in order to protect yourself against it. The best thing you can do is to be very of uh, emails and messages that you receive, to know that you may be a target of spear phishing and then to do more, if you have a suspicion, to do uh, your own research into the people that are sending you these emails. This research can include, for example, Googling contents of the email or the sender's true email address. It's highly likely that other people have been the targets too if this is a known scam. You could also contact the sender through a different medium such as call and message to confirm if they sent this email. 